Hello everybody! Watch this video to find out how to recover data from a RAID system based on MyDito network attached storage and how to retrieve files from such NAS if it becomes inoperable. Network storage devices by Dan Electronic are marketed as NAS solutions that don't need complicated configuration procedures. To improve data storage reliability, this NAS can build RAID 1 arrays. In this case, all data written to one hard disk will be copied to the other disk as well. This will protect your data against loss. Still, just like any other storage device, a NAS may break down sooner or later, and as a result, all files still remaining on the disks will be automatically inaccessible. When connecting disks to a PC, it is not always possible to see the files that were stored on them due to a mismatch of the file system or the RAID data writing method. The operating system may not recognize the disks and when they are connected, it may suggest initializing or formatting them for further use. In this case, you will need a data recovery tool to read and recover your files from the RAID. For starters, let's explore how to create a RAID on this storage device. To manage hard disks, you need to access the administration panel of the NAS system. Open a web browser and enter the IP address of your NAS. Type the default login and password, they are admin and 1234 respectively. After that, go to the Tools tab and click on Storage Tools. Check this option – Enable RAID, then choose the array type and click Apply to confirm. You will see a warning that all data will be erased from the hard disks. Click OK to continue. It starts the process of building the RAID, so you'll have to wait a little until it is over. In the Storage Status tab, you can see the condition of this disk array. By now, you are finished with the settings and the storage device can be used, so you can write files to the hard disks and so on. If the storage device breaks down and you can't access the disk array anymore, the RAID can still be rebuilt and files can be retrieved with the help of a data recovery tool called Hetman RAID Recovery. In case of a NAS storage breakdown, the information stored on the hard disks remains intact, but if the disks are connected directly to a computer, the operating system may not recognize them. As a result, you won't be able to access the files stored on the disks. That is why you need a software tool capable of rebuilding the damaged disk array and retrieving your files. Hetman RAID Recovery supports most popular file systems and RAID types. It will come in handy if you lose access to data stored on a network attached device as a result of hardware error, a controller failure, or other hardware issues. You can use this program to recover data after a device breakdown, accidental removal, formatting, misconfiguration, or NAS firmware issues. To access the disks, they need to be taken out of the NAS device and connected to a computer directly. Remember that it has to be a Windows machine. If the operating system of this computer suggests initializing or formatting the disks, then don't do that, because it will make recovery a lot more complicated. Instead, download, install and run Hetman RAID Recovery. When started, the program will automatically scan the disks connected to this computer, rebuild the damaged RAID system and display it in the main window. As you can see, in my case, the program was able to detect the RAID type, which was built with these disks. To search for files, right-click on the array and choose Open. Then select the required scan type. We recommend beginning with a fast scan. This will take less time and it works fine in most typical recovery scenarios. But if the program can't file the missing files, then go for full analysis. Go back to the main window, right-click on the disk, Analyze again, Full analysis, Specify the file system for this disk, and click Next. As you can see, the program has easily found all the information that used to be stored on the disks. You can use the preview window to see the contents of all files. Select the files you want to restore and click Recovery. Specify where to save the data, choose the disk and folder and click Recovery again. When the operation is over, you will find the data in the folder you have chosen.
summing up, it's not too difficult to recover data if your storage device is down. The most important thing is to understand what to do and choose a good software tool able to restore your files from the disks. And that is all for now. Hopefully this video was useful. Remember to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck.